Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today for you, I have a very special unboxing. This is an actual uh, new release from Dow Strong, as you can tell. It is the Shogun Series S Bevel. Uh, and the model I went with is the six inch Debo. Uh, I've never used the Debo before. Um, I haven't had much experience with single bevel knives before either. Uh, so these are a little bit out of my wheelhouse in terms of the profile and performance, but I've always wanted to own a Deba and I figured this was a good chance to uh, to test one out and see what I thought about it. Um, although I can't really make comparisons on Debas in general and how they perform until I get a few more in my hands. Uh, I can talk about uh, the Dow Strong and what I think about this one uh, in comparison to just the knives that I've been using. So without further ado, let's get into it. Move it from its paper sleeve, from the premium collection set, straight from the mouths of Dow Strong. And we've got the six inch Deva MSRP 249. Uh, I'll giggle a little bit. I think they're gonna release it at 130, but right now you can buy it on sale for $94, $95. So uh, it is, I don't know, it's marketing. So take that for what you will, it is marketing. So you get your cloth, your customer satisfaction card, your VIP card, your Dow Strong manual, a pin for the S bevel pin, and you get a knife. I'm gonna ignore most of the stuff in here because I don't care about those so much. Uh, you guys don't care about those so much. It's the knife that we want to get into. Okay. So straight off the bat, we have a wood style. It says it's wood. It feels like plastic, but maybe it is wood. You can see the grain in it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's got some uh, natural wood look through it. It is uh, something's raised in it, so you can see a texture there. But it's a sheath or saya, uh, depending on um, how you come or how you prefer to pronounce it or call it. It does have a magnet in it, so don't feel the magnet so much here. But inside, there is a magnet, so it keeps it in place. I'm not filling it through any of this, so it's got to be embedded inside. Somewhere near the middle. Yeah, it's right around here. I can feel it. So it, you get a good meaty magnet, or magnetic grip in there, uh, on the inside at least. So you can feel it there. Okay. So yeah, it's a single bevel shape. So you can see that it is designed specifically for this knife. And we have the six inch Deva with a single bevel profile. I have used this. So even though this is a, an unboxing video, I actually used this to uh, debone uh, some snapper and some uh, striped bass because I wanted to get some footage of using it. Um, I'll course going to embed that within this video but let's get into the weight all right so in grams feels pretty stout we're looking at about 262 grams uh, on this knife we that out of the way all right so some details we've got six inch deba go ahead and get the full length of it from the tip to the edge, we're about 11 and a half, a little bit over 11 and a half inches in total length. Uh, and I've got some calipers. I had some recommendations for people to get calipers, so uh, we'll do some caliper testing. Now, the marketing materials say it is 3.5 millimeters thick on the spine, and it is a very thick spine. So typically, I'll take a measurement right at the uh, thickest part, and we're looking at four uh, millimeters. And at the thinnest part where the tip is, we're looking at 3.4 millimeters. A little bit less right at the tip, somewhere along the center. So I'm getting over four millimeters uh, for a uh, marketing, it says 3.5 millimeters thick. All right, and always check it at the choil uh, as well, just to try to find some multi-points to measure. 
I'm looking at 4.28. Uh, and then we'll measure the entire length from the heel to the spine. In millimeters, of course. So this is what I do. We're looking at 47, a little bit over 47 millimeters. Do that again. Yeah, almost 47 millimeters right there. Yeah, 46.89 millimeters. Okay, and then I'll get a measurement of the thickness of the blade, uh, multi spots, just to try to figure out where we are. So we're looking at 0.63 there, right here near the tip. About point. About point six eight right there. That's five three. So there's some inconsistency in my measurements, but that's me most likely. So even though it does say it's a single bevel, we have a single bevel for the uh, main grind, but on the edge itself, um, it is ground on both sides. So I don't know if you can see that, but we have a grind here and here. So I haven't touched this besides using it. I've never sharpened it or anything of that nature. So typically when I think of a single bevel, I'm thinking of only a grind on this side and it being flat on this side, but we've got a little bit of a grind there. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, we've got the Dow Strong logo, a little bit offset or off center here. Um, maybe a rush job. Single pin, it is the mosaic pin. And then it looks like a G10 handle is what they say, but I thought it was entirely G10. Maybe this is faux wood. Looks kind of like a rosewood or something, but I can't tell for sure. And then when we look at the knife itself, we have this, what kind of resembles a camo style print, but it is called a uh, metal storm pattern. And I'll tell you my thoughts on the metal storm pattern uh, after I get into some more cutting with it. But um, off the bat, I don't think it's necessary. It's a little bit too flashy for me. So that's uh, my thought on that. Let's go ahead and get into some cutting here. So as always, got a few things to cut. I know it's a Deba, which is typically more of a fish style or butcher's knife. So cutting tomatoes and vegetables with it, not necessarily a good idea. And if you do notice, it's got that bevel. So cuts are typically going to be um, off center or angled a bit. Now, for me, the first thing I notice is I like to cut towards myself. So when I'm, as you see, when I'm filleting the fish, I'm having to cut away, which obviously is the safer method. But for me, I kind of like to cut into things um, towards me, the, um, or at least towards my hand. I don't usually cut away from myself. And I think this bevel uh, really uh, uh, lends itself well to cutting away from yourself. So if that's your method of cutting, um, you're going to be able to use that. Obviously you'll get better use out of the bevel if you cut away from yourself than typically the way that I cut towards myself. Um, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I guess I can, but it kind of thins out obviously because you're going up a ramp. So well, let's find the balance, I forgot about that. So the balance on this knife is right here at the edge of the choil. Um, it, does feel, it does feel blade heavy. So as you can see, it is very blade heavy, but when you're on the spine right at the choil, that's where you get your balance. So let's see, maybe if I go away from myself, and the slice will come away. It still cuts, pretty sharp. For a single bevel, I expect it to be really sharp, so it should be able to do push cuts of that nature. Um, I have used it, so it is, it is possible that uh, I've had some wear and tear on it from cutting through fish bones, but it is an OS 10, uh, so it has a 62 hardness. I would think that it would last at least through one uh, usage of, or one or two usages of cutting fish. However, it does feel pretty sharp. It is that single bevel, so I mean, they're thin, it cuts. 
uh, cutting down through kind of feels like you're smushing because of the weight um, I don't like I said I don't typically use single bevel um, knives but just to cut through it feels good I don't again I don't typically cut away from myself I typically cut towards myself and I'm not I don't believe that you're supposed to use the bevel angle when you're cutting towards yourself in order to get your slices I believe you're supposed to be using the bevel away so uh, that's probably my technique or incorrect use of the technique because of this uh, blade itself but um, that is my own uh, lack of knowledge okay so cutting through um, obviously sharp very heavy feels very heavy especially for a six inch knife um, tip work I don't know, most of you are not going to cut a tomato with this, so it's just the things I have to test. Again, I do have uh, some footage of cutting through a fish. So, I mean, not bad. Um, in terms of cutting, let's go ahead and just cut into some cucumber. Move that to the side. So I'm not typically, I'm not gonna peel a cucumber, but I mean, having the edge, the bevel, should make it a little bit easier to cut through a cucumber. Um, I'm cut myself. And again, this is not what a demo is for. So what I'm doing right here is uh, not for the demo sake, but for a single bevel sake, I just wanna but with a single bevel, okay? So we get a little bit of cutting with a single bevel. Um, again, as you cut, because you have that ramp, it's gonna wanna push the knife. Um, it's either gonna wanna create that curvature or you're gonna wanna push the knife in. So um, your straight cuts are gonna be a little bit more challenging with a single bevel, so be prepared for that. Um, it wants to cut at an angle. So that's usually why you'll see um, slices and stuff of that nature coming out. Now, that is, again, sharp enough. I don't know. It, definitely awkward feel in your hand, so if you've never used a single bevel edge, that's going to take some getting used to um, because it's so pronounced here. Um, Typically, you're going to want a, uh, a symmetrical grind on your knife. That's good cucumber. <laughs> so here we have some carrot. And again, you're never, you're most likely never going to do this, right? But feels like an axe because it's so thick, very thick hatchety feel. Um, definitely feels more like a cleaver than a um, knife, of, or a chef's knife. And you can feel that. I mean, it's not built for doing what I'm doing at all. It is a Deba, so uh, do not use what I'm doing as a test for how you're going to use this knife, I don't anticipate anybody using it in this nature. But just to get a feel for how it cuts, I mean, it is sharp. You do have the single bevel. Um, so if you're trying to cut straight, you're not going to get it. Um, or it's going to take a little bit more finesse to get it because it wants to, um, as, a, as a knife being a wedge, it wants to push things out this way. So if you start, what happens is it starts to push out this way. So if it follows the, if you're following whatever the cut is, this starts to go at an angle, creating a big gap, whereas this part stays flush against the edge, okay? I don't know if I can do this with one hand or two-handed, but you create sort of that wedge there. So that's sort of why you'll see uh, very different style of cuts. 
Now, the single bevel though, is supposed to be the sharpest uh, approach towards cutting to give you the thinnest angle, uh, or at least that's uh, what it's uh, supposed to do. Um, with a blade heavy six inch Deba, I mean, it's built for chopping. So if you imagine this is a spine, you know, it's going to cut through. That's its job. Um, so if you're trying to cut through things like bone, specifically fish bones, this is what you're gonna get out of it. Um, and we'll see right here, pushing straight down. So we get a, a very good chunk out of it because of the way that it cuts. Not very clean but it's for splitting and, and breaking through bones. Um, very nice if you're trying to get that angle cut through um, when cutting through a fish. It felt really nice, except when I'm cutting it this way, you know, it wants to run along, and that's the best part is you're running along the rib bones or the spine um, as you're cutting through, which is perfect. But for me, for some reason, I, I wanna cut this way. And so as I'm cutting here, it doesn't, I don't get the benefit of the, of the, uh, I mean, I can on a flat surface, try to keep it as close to whatever it is I'm cutting, but you know, it, that's not, that's not how a single bevel is supposed to be utilized. Okay. You're supposed to be able to get it as flat as possible. Okay. That's more of what a single bevel is used. So cutting away from yourself again, cutting, Towards yourself, if you are using a single bevel, you do need to be careful because if you hit the grind first, um, whatever it is you're cutting through, if you hit the grind first, it can easily push the edge away and towards your hand. So be careful with that. Um, but if you're wanting to get a very thin slice using a single bevel, that's what it's for. It's for a good chisel-esque, chisel-esque, okay? Um, so there you go. That has been the uh, Dow Strong Shogun Series S Single Bevel Deba. Um, very unique profile, very clean uh, lines, very sharp spine, not very polished. Uh, and it's got that, what is it called again? Metal Storm finish on it. And it is a Oz 10V. All right. If you have any questions feel free to let me know uh, in the comments down below i'll link to this knife uh, and i'll put all the details that i have again in the description and uh we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching